Hey bitches, I'm back. Well, kinda. So over the weekend, I watched this film called Crazy Rich Asians, which inspired me to kind of go for this classy AF look. I don't know how classy or sophisticated it might be, but yeah, it's just kind of gold and simple. Simple by simple, I mean a lot of products used. I dug through my entire makeup and skincare like collection and just looked for the bougiest that I could find and just slapped it all onto my face and my skin and yeah, just really hoped for the best. I am by no means a crazy rich Asian. I am possibly crazy, definitely Asian. So, you know, I found a loophole and decided to go with it. Um, I mean, I'm comfortable as the line says. Uh, I, I absolutely love the movie. I found it incredibly relatable. Um, and yeah, like, I mean, I did come from a pretty decent upbringing. I went to private schools, I went to a boarding school, I got pretty much whatever I wanted. You know, in Malaysia, Southeast Asia, it's quite common to have maids and drivers. A lot of my friends are definitely in the category of crazy rich Asian. This bitch isn't. I'm the plebeiest of them all, so yes. I'll be recreating a photo I took. I'm gonna put it up now. There you go. Oh gee, so glam, so luxe, so ling ling. Yeah, boy. And I just want to point out, this video is not sponsored at all. So, yeah, if you want to sponsor me, feel free to. You know, I'm not going to say no. Um, but yeah, I definitely enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoy watching it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, whatever. You know, it's all down there. Just do it. I beg. I don't beg. Who begs? This bitch does it because I'm cool. I did that on purpose. Okay, let's get into it. I am so sorry about the lawnmower and probably the yelling in the background. The gardeners are just doing their thing and, you know, making the courtyard look nice. So I apologize in advance for that loud, like, lawnmower sound. But I just wanted to begin with, I've already moisturized my face with the La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream which looks like this and I've paired that off with the Concentrate which looks like this and hand in hand, these babies work so well together um, I know my skin's kind of looking a bit shit recently but that's not because of the cream that's just because I haven't been eating right, I haven't been sleeping right like, I've been sleeping two hours on average a night, so that's not the best. And yeah, just sweating a lot, I guess. I don't know, it's kind of gross, but whatever. Um, I've also used the Guilan um, Luch, Luch. Is that how you say it? I don't know. The Guilan Luch, Luch. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I'm not French, clearly. So. Sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. Um, this is the Radiance Concentrate and this stuff is amazing for like priming your skin. And top that off with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I know this is a lot of steps, that's why I just decided not to do it on camera. Um, and yeah. I've also primed my lids with the Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. And I've done my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow powder duo in ash brown. Today's lesson is makeup. First, we must highlight your eyes. The eyes are the nipples of the face. And for the eyes, I'll be using the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Sublime in Bronze Ambition. It looks a little something something like this. And I'm going to go in with my trusty double-ended brush. I know it's a sin to use a double-ended brush, but deal with it. This one is the Urban Decay one that came with the 
Mm, I'm gonna say smoky eye one. I don't know, but it just comes with a fluffy brush on one end and a pretty like detailed. Oh, look at my calluses. Oh, hell yeah. Someone's been making good. Sorry. And just a small dense end at the bottom. So, yeah. So, the first color I'm gonna go in with is the copper eyes color, which is this one right here. And I'm just using my fluffy brush and kind of going all over my lid and just making that like the base color. Now that I've put the base on, I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is called Throwing Shade, which is what I'm freaking good at. Alright. And I'm just gonna take the smaller end and just kind of dab it in the corner of my eyes. Like so. And then I'm gonna kind of go into my crease just to create that form of dimension and just blend it in and once you've laid the base which is copper eyes and then moved on to throwing shade I usually go on with illicit which is this one right here and I just go into the corner of my eyes and just blend the absolute out of it dab it in the corner and Blend away. To make it pop, I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is Gold Rush. And I'm gonna go in with this brush right here. This is the Juvia's Place. It's like a set. I'll link it in the description down below. And just apply it into the center just to make it pop a little. Or add that like 3D dimension, I guess. And lastly, I'm going to go in right here with Guilt Trip. I'm just using a small tapered brush to do it. And so you just take a little bit and just go in the absolute corners and just dab. And yeah, and that just like opens up the eye a little bit more. I'm just using this small brush. I just went into my waterline with copper eye and I'm just kind of blending it. Then I'm gonna take that throwing shade color and just kind of blend it again. And finally, I'm gonna go in with illicit. And lastly, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is Bronze Struck. I'm just going to go into the creases on my eyes. I'm just using the Kylie Jenner birthday brush. And it's like just a big, uh, well, a small fluffy brush, I guess. And I'm just going to go over the lids and kind of just blend it. And that is it for the eyeshadow. This is a bit weird. So off camera, I did my eyeliner and I used the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. I'll link the description down below of the video I did previously of my eyeliner tutorial. So go check that one out. And no, 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 these are not my real lashes. I've used the Lily Lashes in the style of Miami and it's just the bomb.com. I have another like one in there that I've cut up so yeah I really like these lashes because they're fuller and they create more dimension to your eye and they're longer and I have no eyelashes so they just do what they need to do okay now time for the face I'll be using the La Mer soft fluid foundation in the color linen and I've just used my trusty old artiste brush let me tell you something. So I don't know if any of you have gotten the diptyque like candles. Well, the little cups they come in come really handy and I've used mine as a little 
brush cup. Just a pro tip for you girls out there that do use diptyque candles. Um, yeah, and I've used my Artie's brush and I've just kind of smeared that foundation all over my skin. And I've also gone in with the Beauty Blender just to help really press that foundation in to every little gaping pore that is so unnecessary. I have a pimple right here. It's super hard to cover up. I've been trying for a lifetime and it just, just doesn't want to cover up. And now that that's done, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder just to set my face and I'll be right back. And I'm gonna go in with the Tom Ford um, Shade and Illuminate Intensity One uh, Sculpting Palette. And I'm just using a Sephora Conceal Brush, which is just this puppy right here. And I'm just gonna speed through the process. I'm basically gonna do it three, like Kim K says, and just really highlight the areas. And then I'm just gonna go around the chin just to really define it. And yeah, I'll speed up so you can kind of see the process. And you want to suck in your cheeks like a fish, like this, and really contour the hollows of your cheek. And I'm just going to go in with my trusty old beauty blender and just blend it all out. And for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Ambient Luminous Bronze Light. And I'm just going to use an angled brush. And just like do a kissy face or a prissy face like this. Just to really highlight the apples of the cheeks. And I'm just going to lightly tap it in. My other favorite contouring step is contouring my nose. I don't have a nose, so I use the Kevin Aquan Medium Sculpting Powder, which looks like this. And I just use a mixture between this Morphe M507 brush and this Morphe 505 brush. And I go in with the small one first just to define it. And then I go in with this one just to blend it out. And I like to go from my eyebrows and bring it down. I don't know what this is. I can't see it in real life, but the camera for some reason is picking up on a spot right here. So please excuse that spot. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter. It looks absolutely stunning. I don't know if they still sell this, um, the last time I checked it was sold out unfortunately. Another recommendation I could make is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Gold Bar which looks like this. It comes in this like little cute case. So check this one out if you're not able to find the Amrezy one anymore. I'll be using the Morphe Y13 brush which is just a fan brush. And I just lightly tap it and just highlight the top of my cheek and bring it up. Like that. There. I also sometimes use my finger and just to get that warmth of the finger and to really, really bring out that highlight. I also like to put one right down the center of my nose, so I just use my finger for that and just lightly do that. And see how it really brings out that nose bridge? And then I do one at the bottom as well. And I also do one on my cupid's bow. And that is it for highlighting. Before I do my lips, I'm going to go in with the sculpting palette again just to really outline my lips. And to finish this look off, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Plumberry Lip Pencil. And to top that off, I'm going to go in with the Pat McGrath Fembot 
Matte Trance Lipstick. And finally, I'm gonna go in with my trusty Glam Glow Glow Setting Spray. This shit is the best. And it smells so good as well. And that is it. And because my collarbones are exposed as well as my shoulders, I'm gonna go in with the Tom Ford Sole Blanc um, Shimmering Body Oil. Just gonna do a couple of spritzes and that will really like bring out that glow. And that is it. That's the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it. I miss doing this so much. I haven't been filming as much as I hope just because I've had like a lot of prior commitments that I have to attend to. So yeah, hopefully I can do this more often and hope to see you guys soon.